And finally, as the digital and physical worlds come together, we are creating an entirely new platform layer, which is the metaverse. We're bringing people, places, and things together with the digital world in both the consumer space as well as in the enterprise. Take, for example, Dynamics 365 Connected Spaces, which we are announcing this morning. Connected Spaces provides a new perspective on the way people move and interact in physical spaces, whether it's a retail store or a factory, or even how organizations manage health and safety in a hybrid work environment. You can do analytics, you can get real-time insights, you can run simulations, you can automate routine tasks. And when we talk about the metaverse, we're describing both a new platform and a new application type, similar to how we talked about the web and websites in the early 90s. Imagine you put on your glasses or headset and you're instantly in your home space. It has parts of your physical home recreated virtually. It has things that are only possible virtually. And it has an incredibly inspiring view of whatever you find most beautiful. Hey, are you coming? Yeah, just gotta find something to wear. All right, perfect. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh hey, Mark. Hey, what's going on? Hey, Hi. Mark. What's up, Mark? Whoa, we're floating in space? Uh -huh. Who made this place? It's <laughs> awesome. Right? It's from the crater. I met in LA. Uh, this place is amazing. <laughs> Boz, is that you? Of course it's me. You know I had to be the robot, man. I thought I was supposed to be the robot. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> I knew you were bluffing. <laughs> hey, wait. Where is Naomi? Let's yes, call her. Naomi. <laughs> Hey, should we deal you in? Sorry, I'm running late, but you've got to see what we're checking out. There's an artist going around Soho hiding AR pieces for people to find. 3D street art? That's cool. Across the Microsoft Cloud, from Azure IoT to Azure Digital Twins to Connected Spaces and Microsoft Mesh, we are building the Metaverse Intrinsics, the Metaverse platform for you to build upon. In a sense, the metaverse enables us to embed computing into the real world and to embed the real world into computing, bringing real presence to any digital space. For years, we've talked about creating this digital representation of the world, but now we actually have the opportunity to go into that world and participate in it. What's most important is that we are able to bring our humanity with us and choose how we want to experience this world and who we want to interact with. I can't overstate how much of a breakthrough this is. It's no longer just looking at a camera view of a factory floor. You can be on the floor. It's no longer just video conferencing with colleagues. You can be with them in the same room. It's no longer just playing a game with friends. You can be in the game with them. The feeling of presence. This is the defining quality of the metaverse. You're going to really feel like you're there with other people. You'll see their facial expressions, you'll see their body language, maybe figure out if they're actually holding a winning hand. All the subtle ways that we communicate that today's technology can't quite deliver. Next, there are avatars. And that's how we're going to represent ourselves in the metaverse. Avatars will be as common as profile pictures today, but instead of a static image, they're going to be living 3D representations of you. Your expressions, your gestures, that are gonna make interactions much richer than anything that's possible online today. You'll probably have a photorealistic avatar for work, a stylized one for hanging out, and maybe even a fantasy one for gaming. You're gonna have a wardrobe of virtual clothes for different occasions, designed by different creators and from different apps and experiences. Importantly, you, know, you should be able to bring your avatar and digital items across different apps and experiences in the metaverse. Features like grid views, together mode, and presenter mode in Teams mark the beginning of bringing 2D immersive experiences to collaboration. But human presence is the ultimate connection. When you and I can have a meeting where we are all present together without actually being physically present, that's the next big breakthrough. 
And we are approaching this thoughtfully because we have learned from similar transitions in the past. Mesh for Microsoft Teams will allow you to connect with presence and have a shared immersive experience directly in Teams. Let me now turn it over to Ellen Shook and Jason Warnke from Accenture to share how they plan to reimagine work with it. Thanks, Satya, and hi, everyone. It's great to be here. Thanks for having us, and welcome to Accenture's End Floor. At Accenture, we have over 624,000 people serving clients in 120 countries. And critical to our ability to work seamlessly together is Microsoft Teams. We have turned our focus away from spaces and places to creating what we call omni-connected experiences, where our people can participate, contribute, and feel like they belong regardless of where they're working. So it's been awesome to see Mesh for Microsoft Teams come together to enable those experiences. And as Satya said, it's so important to bring the human connection into our digital world. We're using this technology for meetings and learning, team get-togethers, and it's helped us really transform our new joiner experience. And you'll see I've joined this meeting today using my avatar. We love this new feature because it gives everyone the flexibility and choice to show up in ways they are most comfortable. And for me, not having to be on camera all day has really helped with my energy and engagement. And even though you're not joining on camera, it feels natural as I can see your facial expressions, gestures, and even live reactions. We've also created an incredible immersive space that's now seamlessly accessible directly through Teams. Why don't we go check it out? Here we are, Jason, and your avatar looks awesome. Something that I really like is how freely you can move around and have face-to-face -face conversations. That's exactly right. We've held more than 100 team gatherings in these immersive spaces where people can connect, learn, and collaborate because they're truly in the same place together. The solution has been a game changer for onboarding, about 100,000 people a year. And like many organizations, onboarding has been remote for the past 18 months. So bringing our new hires into this immersive environment fosters immediate and deeper connections. It transcends physical boundaries and helps individuals experience a culture in a very personal way. Our new hires meet many more people and grow their professional network much faster. In IT, we're thrilled how easily we could unlock Mesh's capabilities through Teams. In fact, we're currently rolling it out on all of our computers and recently deployed 60,000 VR headsets. The integration with Microsoft 365 makes everything feel familiar. But on top of that, spatial audio makes everything sound just like it would in person. And I love seeing and hearing our colleagues collaborating and whiteboarding and using this space for productivity. This doesn't just feel real, it is real. It's been exciting to see an idea become a reality in such a short time enabling presence and connection that transcends location, keeps our culture vibrant wherever we're working, and levels the playing field to create equal and inclusive experiences. Thank you all for taking a quick tour with us. And with that, back to you, Satya. Thanks so much, Ellen and Jason. I just love seeing how Accenture has been able to recreate the human connection you feel around those serendipitous water cooler type conversations and even the design and whiteboarding sessions that you would typically have in person. And of course, these experiences are just incredible when experienced on any VR or AR headsets from Oculus to HoloLens. And these are some of the basic concepts for the metaverse. And, and while this may sound like science fiction, we're starting to see a lot of these technologies coming together. In the next five or 10 years, a lot of this is going to be mainstream. And a lot of us will be creating and inhabiting worlds that are just as detailed and convincing as this one on a daily basis. So even though it's still a long way off, we're starting to work on some of these foundational concepts today. Horizon is the social platform that we're building for people to create and interact in the metaverse. One part of this is Horizon Home, which is our early vision for a home space in the metaverse. Horizon Home is the first thing that you'll see when you put on your Quest headset. Today, there are already a bunch of options to choose from, and in the future, anyone will be able to create one. We've just called it Home until now because it's been missing something very important, people. Soon, we're going to be introducing a social version of Home 
where you can invite your friends to join you as avatars. You'll be able to hang out, watch videos together, and jump into apps together. Then there is Horizon Worlds, which is where you can build worlds and jump into them with people. Horizon is designed to make it possible for everyone to create, and we're already seeing people build some really interesting experiences, from creating new games together, to throwing surprise parties in VR that family and friends around the world can join. We started rolling out Horizon Worlds in beta last year, and we're adding more people and more worlds every day. And we also just launched Horizon Workrooms earlier this year for collaboration. Beyond Horizon, we're also making it easier to communicate with your friends across different layers of reality. This year, we're bringing messenger calls to virtual reality. You're gonna be able to invite your friends to a messenger call, and soon you'll be able to explore somewhere together or join a game. Now, these are the kinds of tools that need to get built so that you can jump into the metaverse with your friends from anywhere. And they're gonna unlock some pretty amazing experiences.